Okay, I'm going to show you how to do a 45 degree cut and some 7 inch skirting. This is a Taurus pattern, as you can see. Now, I'm going to do it without using a miter saw because I very rarely use miter saws for cutting skirts. The only reason is, unless you've got a really sharp blade, they have a tendency of burning. Now, I'm almost there to use this saw and cut that skirt, I'm going to have to put it at an angle, and they have a tendency of burning from the timber unless the blades are really sharp and obviously I'm cutting 3b2 all day long and all sorts of bits of wood so generally it's not that sharp I'm going to show you how to do it using just a handsaw that's a brand new one and it has to be sharp you don't need a set square, mitre square, anything like that all you need is a handsaw and I'm going to show you how to do it I've been doing this for decades this way of cutting skirting you can use any 45 cutting fascia boards, screwing anything, anything like that. Like I said, all you need is a handsaw. I'm going to show you that how to do that right now. Okay, so I've got the skirting clamped in. Doesn't matter how you clamp it in, whatever you want to use. Do it on the floor, do it on a workbench, doesn't really matter. Right, now then, the saw. What can you see there? That's right, you can see in the reflection of the saw blade, you can see a 90 degree angle. Yeah, make the angle bigger, make the angle smaller. What you're aiming for, that's right, 90 degrees. I've been using this method for decades, that's all they ever use, I don't use anything else. Okay, now obviously you just start to do this method, you want to try and keep the angle, if anything, make it slightly bigger and smaller. Because at the end of the day, when the skirt's fit, all you're going to see is the front edge. You're not going to see the back edge. If you make the angle too shallow, the back of the, the joint will touch. And you'll have a gap at the front. If that makes sense? Anyway, you'll figure it out. Practice makes perfect, I suppose. So what you're aiming for is 90 degrees. Okay? And that's so you don't have to bother with a mitre square. 45 degree mitre square. Okay? I'm going to cut this, I'm going to set it up ready for cutting and I'll show you. Okay, so I have clamped the skirting down, just put a block against it. Like I said, you can do any, any method you want, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to put this camera over here, hopefully you should be able to see something. So I'm just going to cut a 45 with the method I'm just showing you. So, reflection in the skirting, as you can see, well you can't see it from there, but I can. I'm going to show you. It's a nice little short step to the saw, I don't have to go mad like this. Just nice little, just so you get your 45 marks. Now come over the top of the saw and try and keep it as straight as you can. I'm not expecting anything, you know, perfect. Obviously, if you've never done it before, just work your way through. Down to the bottom of the pole. That's all you're doing. That's all you're doing. So I'll just show you. As you can see, I've cut the 45 only down to the end there, to the profile. So any skirt you get, OG, Regency, whatever. Just cut through the shape until you get down to this bit there, okay? Now, just get the clamps off. Now what you do now is, now on most of these, these saws have got like a built in 90 degree square. Some can be slightly out, but for this purpose, I think it'll be fine. Okay, so just come across where its mark is, you can just about see it there, okay? And then just come down like so. Okay, got it? Brilliant. Now then, all I need to do is follow that line with the saw. Which I'll set up in a second. Okay, so I've just put a block there, clamped it down to a tabletop, just to stop it sliding back. Okay, you can use any method you want, doesn't really matter. So as you can see, I've got the pencil line there, and I'm going to cut down the pencil line. So I'll just put the camera there, hopefully you should be able to see it, possibly. Okay, so, I'm going to cut. And when you're cutting, you want to be cutting with the back of the saw blade. Don't be cutting with the front, because this bit is what you're going to follow. You're going to follow the pencil line with the back of the saw blade. Okay, that's the most important bit, that's the bit you're going to see. You're not going to see anything at the back, so it doesn't matter. Okay. 
probably didn't see any of that, but uh, I'll have a look at the video next week or something. So. Okay, so as you can see, I've cut it at 45, the method I've just shown you. You got it? Okay, so I've cut another piece at 45 degrees, exactly the same method I showed you before. Like I said, just cut through reflection just down to the profile there, and then cut the rest to get a square, use the saw. Generally not too bad for 90 degrees, and then just finish it off as I showed you. As you can see, a bit big on the back, but it doesn't matter, you're not going to see it. That's all you're going to see, the front edge. So don't, too, don't be too particular. Like I say, just DIY it, you know. Do you want to pay someone else a couple hundred quid to do it, or you can do it yourself. Like I say, you don't need any expensive machinery. You just need a saw. I just suggest buy a brand new one. Nice and sharp, easy to work with. Okay, and anyway, a lot of these mice saws you buy, you know, cheap ones, 50 quidders, they only cut 4 inch anyway, um, unless you get a decent saw, I mean, do you want to buy a decent mice saw, spend a few hundred quid, and for a job you're only probably going to do once or twice, so yeah, this is a cheap method, easy to do, well, that's me saying that, but um, I think a bit of practice, um, I think you'll get the idea of it, it's not rocket science, okay, good luck.